For decades, Barnard alumni and faculty have been trailblazers in the sciences. Our bold, brilliant alumni and faculty members of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine have overcome incredible obstacles to make groundbreaking discoveries while using their knowledge and skills to improve the lives of others. Miriam Sarachuk, class of 1954, was a groundbreaking physicist whose research on magnetism shed light on a fundamental aspect of how some metal alloys behave. I devoted my efforts and my time to the discipline of physics, which was not open to women at the time. I knocked my way into it. I really kicked the door sort of ajar and snuck in. Barbara Stoll, class of 1971, is a pediatrician who has focused her career on studying and improving outcomes for preterm and low birth weight infants, especially in developing countries. Elena Nightingale, class of 1954, is a physician, researcher, and human rights activist who spent years shedding light on the important role that physicians play as protectors of human rights around the world. Elissa Newport, class of 1969, has been a visionary researcher when it comes to studying the acquisition of language. Dr. Newport's focus has been on children and early exposure to language, as well as the recovery of language among those who suffered brain damage early in life. Jacqueline DeRoque, class of 1968, is a senior fellow at the Guttmacher Institute. Jacqueline has spent over 40 years working on policy-focused research and public education on reproductive health. Rochelle Hirshhorn, class of 1953, is a geneticist and innovator who served as the chief of the Division of Medical Genetics at New York University Langone Medical Center for 24 years. Through their numerous accomplishments, these incredible women have forged a path for others to follow in their footsteps, lighting the way for all of Barnard's future scientists, mathematicians, engineers, and doctors. But women are still greatly outnumbered by men in STEM fields. Mentors bridge the gap and help build connections and advance career goals and research interests. Through our world-class faculty and inspiring alumni, Barnard has long been a place for women to see other women achieving greatness in the sciences. Elizabeth McNally, class of 1983, is a cardiac geneticist and the first woman to be elected editor of the preeminent medical publication, Journal of Clinical Investigation. Dr. McNally lists fellow gala honoree, Dr. Ora Rosen, as one of her early mentors at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. Eva Neer, class of 1959, was a member of both the National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Medicine. Though her professional career was marked by many incredible achievements, as a professor at Harvard, she was known across campus as a brilliant and kind mentor who welcomed students into her life and offered guidance on any and all subjects. Joan S. Berman, Professor Emerita, Barnard alumna class of 1948, is a pioneering mathematician. Her landmark discovery, known as the Berman Exact Sequence, is widely regarded as one of the most important contributions to the mathematical study of braids and surfaces. Professor Berman spent over 30 years teaching at Barnard, helping to pave the way for the next generation of women in mathematics. Ora Mendelssohn-Rosen, class of 1956, was a research scientist who was part of the team that first cloned the gene for the human insulin receptor. She was also key to building the team at the Sloan Kettering Institute and was known to have an eye for identifying talented young scientists. Susan Scrimshaw, class of 1967, is a researcher, past president of Russell Sage College and a pioneering medical anthropologist, whose mentor, fellow Barnard anthropologist Margaret Mead, class of 1923, helped her embark on a career of interdisciplinary research aimed at resolving health disparities around the globe. Women still have a long way to go to achieve gender parity in STEM, and it's so important for women to be at the table because when you get different people with different lived experiences and different ideas, they produce better knowledge. That's where discoveries happen.